Yeah, we're getting so close. And you know, it's one of the first times we've gotten out here to the West Zone uh, to see everybody on the other side of 275. It's good to see everybody out here in Washtenaw County. And uh, yes, there is a rush on these radios as we're uh, closing in on the last hours here of our first uh, weather radio day of the season. Of course, we will have two more uh, coming up in the next two months. So if you don't get a chance to see us today, uh, there's still a shot. Uh, let's get you caught up on the forecast because those numbers still look pretty good, despite the fact that we started this morning below freezing just down the street here in Ann Arbor. 31 was the official low temperature. Uh, White Lake up in Oakland County also got down to the freezing mark, but a lot of folks in the mid to upper 30s with some frost in places this morning. But we have recovered nicely into the upper 50s and low 60s and at least seeing some sunshine out here in Washington County, even though those clouds are starting to increase as we watch that low swirl to our south. Eventually we will see these clouds turn into giving us some showers tomorrow. But a lot of that is going to be pretty light and widely scattered. So for the rest of tonight, we're going to stay on the dry side of things. Clouds continue to increase. The good news about that is we're going to keep temperatures a little bit milder uh, than what we woke up to this morning. Uh, getting through the commute, OK. But once we get closer to the uh, noon hour and into the early afternoon, we'll see a few of those showers, especially south of 8 Mile. Uh, once we get into the evening hours, there's a cold front that starts working its way in from the northwest. So that'll add rain chances to some areas uh, that are a little bit further north and west than what we've been seeing earlier in the day. However, the weekend does look mostly dry. It's not looking all that warm. However, lows tonight 44 as the clouds increase and we will see calm winds tomorrow. High temperatures still managing to hit the 60s, so that streak continues into the afternoon hours despite the clouds and shower chances. And once we get into the seven day forecast, 50 degree highs are what we're expecting over the weekend. Not a completely dry stretch. We are looking for to see some rain late Saturday into early Sunday. But those temperatures do start to recover as we head into early next week. So uh, we are.